I think when a lot of people see Black Ivory Coffee or they hear the story, they're like, ah, you know, it's as simple as giving some good quality coffee beans to an elephant, out it comes and you got a good cup. It's taken me 10 years to, to develop this because it's very complicated in the whole process, making sure that the taste is great. And to do that, you gotta be aware of every step in the process and be in control of that. And I wanted to come to Thailand because this has the combination of uh, really interesting coffee, some, there is some high quality coffee, and to find a foundation that has enough elephants that has a really strong approach to conservation and where the elephants are well cared for. And, uh, and that's the case here. I've spent 10 years on making this coffee and if it was just a gimmick, I would have been selling it a long time ago. There's actually some science behind how it's made or why it tastes the way it does. And there's really two factors. The first is the, when the beans are being ingested by the elephant, it takes about 15 to 70 hours for the coffee to be digested. During that time, there's an enzymatic reaction. There's the acids in the stomach of the elephant that are breaking down the protein found in an elephant. And protein is one of the factors responsible for bitterness. So less protein equals a less bitter tasting coffee. So that's one thing. The second is that elephants are pretty much vegetarian, they're herbivores. And so really they're just eating vegetables, plant matter, fruits. And so when they want to digest their food, what they're doing is they're utilizing a lot more fermentation. And fermentation, whether it's for coffee, for wine, for beer, is fantastic. Because what it does is it helps to bring out the sugar of the coffee and helps to impart the fruit of the cherry into the bean. The taste is gonna be chocolate, malt, cherry, and a little bit of grass. And you're not gonna have any of the bitter aftertaste of coffee. We, we try to help in, in a few different ways. The first is we pay above market price for the coffee cherries. The second is we provide income generation for the Mahouts and their wives. And they can earn a day's wage in about 45 minutes. So I feel good about that. Definitely, I think the Mahouts and the wives appreciate that. And then the third way that we help out is we donate 8% of our sales, not profit, but sales, back to the foundation. And that money is going back to help pay for medicine, to help treat sick elephants, and the construction of a laboratory. Personally, I feel really committed to, and hopefully people who buy the coffee will feel the same way. The, the Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation is a Thai registered charity. It has about 26 elephants and roughly 18 of them have been rescued from the street. So what the foundation does, it rescues these elephants, brings them to a beautiful place here in northern Thailand and uh, provides a home, a safe place for the elephants to be, provides a home for the mahouts and a stipend for them as well, and food for the elephants, and regular veterinary care as well. We put a lot of time into making sure that it's really high coffee quality standards. So 100% Thai Arabica beans, they're hand-picked, they're not machine stripped off a tree, they're inspected to make sure that they're all ripe. The coffee is washed numerous times, it's sun-dried. We roast it in small batches, three kilos at a time. When we send it out, we roast the, pretty much just at most the day before it goes out. So you're always getting fresh coffee and it's gonna be very aromatic and flavorful. On the positive side, what motivates me is I love doing this. I mean, it, my dream job is to do something that's entrepreneurial, that's creative, that's international. I get to be my own boss. I have a whole range of problems that I really find interesting to address. I deal with a real cross-section of people, everyone from you know, five-star hotels to, to Mahouts. I get to travel and, and visit quite a few countries, and I get to feel like I'm making a little bit of a difference by helping the, the Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation. I mean, the reality is we live in a really fast-paced world, and what I want to do is create a little bit of an escape. And that's why I only sell to five-star hotels because that provides a high level of service and a beautiful ambiance so that people can be, when the coffee's being served, all the senses are being hit. You know, you're seeing the, visually this beautiful machine, you're smelling fresh coffee being a hand ground. And my hope is I kind of go back to a time where people actually had conversation and not just stare down at their iPhone or their Blackberry. 
takes a certain type of person who's gonna be open-minded, adventurous, willing to spend a little bit more for an experience that they're probably not gonna have anywhere else in the world. I think people wanna have a great experience and there's a lot of people out there who like coffee as well and, and really what I'm trying to do is combine all three to make a great cup of coffee, have a beautiful presentation and really just for people to take a break from the world and, and just take it easy, enjoy the surroundings, have nice conversation and feel good about the product that they're consuming.